Okay, so we are done with the museum and we have decided just to drive around uh, Springfield just a little bit. We're gonna pick up lunch and uh, but we're gonna see just a couple little oddball sites on the way, okay? Okay. All right, let's do that. So just right on the side of the road here, uh, there was a big pink elephant and maybe he's looking in a mirror and seeing pink elephants because he does have a very large martini glass in his hand with a, with a cherry in it. Oh, yeah, so there's oddity number one, a pink elephant. So we stopped at this place for lunch. It's called Pie's the Limit. It's sort of like a mod pizza, but if you haven't even heard of that, Sort of like a, a, a subway for pizzas. So basically what they do is you go up and you say what kind of crust you want, what kind of cheese you want, and then you walk in front of this bar and they got all the different kind of meats and the different kind of toppings and vegetables and all sorts of stuff. And this this place was pretty good. Yeah, because they had they cooked the crust so it was like burnt on the edges and it was crispy. It's yeah, so it was good. a very like a thin like crispy crust, yeah. yeah cracker crust. Which I like better. Yes. So I highly recommend this place. This is good. If you're in Springfield, stop by Pies the Limit. Hey, look at that thing. That's a, that's a deer made out of chrome bumpers. <laughs> that's something you don't see every day. No, you don't. There it is. A deer made out of car bumpers. All right. No I wonder if that deer's name was Big Ben, because then you could say, hey, kids, it's Big Ben. Parliament. No. That's not Parliament. That's the Capitol building. That's the Capitol building, of course it is. <laughs> we don't have Parliament. <laughs> so, yeah, there is the, uh, the state capital of Illinois, sitting here right in the middle of Springfield, Illinois. train yeah yeah it's an older style building that you see uh, but uh, you should see the old Illinois uh, state build the original one yeah but uh, but it, it's actually a very pretty building and a train and it, I hear that train it coming um, yeah just thought I'd show you the capital there it is that's where all the Illinois laws are made yeah all those high taxes <laughs> So this building right here uh, used to be the law offices of Abraham Lincoln and uh, his partner, uh, Herndon, I believe it was. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is where Abraham Lincoln practiced law for many, many a year. And right across the street, that is the original state capitol building right there. That's the old one. So you can tell the new one is much bigger and much grander. What is this, a parade route? It's like, there's hardly anybody downtown today and like 10 cars has to go in front of me. But uh, yeah, so there's the original Capitol building. That's not what I wanted to show you. So this is a pretty cool little uh, mural. Uh, it's of young Abraham Lincoln uh, as he was just moving to Illinois, but the fascinating thing about this is that it is painted uh, with pixelated squares so um, I don't know if you can kind of maybe like see over there but it's it's, it's all little pixelated squares so um, it's not a single brush stroke it's done with little tiny dots you get a little closer view of it here but you can see it's all there's Really, no straight uh, brush strokes. It's all it's all dots. Even this little part over here. And right here by the state capitol building is the firefighters uh, memorial, dedicated to the firefighters of Illinois who have given their lives in the line of duty, and to those who heroically serve with courage pride and honor.
So it's a very nice memorial. Heck yeah. And right across from where the firefighters are, which is right there, uh, is the Illinois Police Officers Memorial. Um, so this is uh, dedicated to all the police who have given their life in the life in the uh, line of duty. And this is the police. So there's one giving a helping hand and the other one saying stop. These are many, many names on this. And unfortunately, still room for more. And then if this one fills up, they have this side here, and then the names would start on the back of these. This is a, uh, a memorial dedicated September 11, 2005. Uh, and this one was for 9-11. Uh, and this one is with the Pentagon. And the Twin Towers. In memory of the 72 law enforcement officers, 343 firefighters, and 2,651 fellow Americans who lost their lives in the attacks of September 11th, 2001. And United Airlines Flight 93 uh, that happened in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania um, sorry, but <laughs> is anybody from Pennsylvania or uh, want to tell me what's wrong with this? <laughs> Pittsburgh is spelt wrong. Uh, somebody forgot the H at the end of Pittsburgh. Oops. <laughs> That's not good for a memorial. Uh, somebody needs to fix that. I think I'll write a letter stating that someone who makes monuments needs to learn how to spell. And this is just called the Illinois Very Special Mosaic mural. Uh, it, uh, to the creators of this mosaic, the participants in the 1982 Illinois Very Special Arts Festival. Look at that, isn't that, it's very pretty. This is great. Like this one right here, it's kind of a mix between like SpongeBob and C. Montgomery Burns. Excellent. So, I like this one here too. Very nice. And you can see all of this right here at the Capitol building. And I'm on just one side of the Capitol building. Look, there's statues across the way over there. That I'm not gonna walk all the way over there, but there's there's statues over there right on the corner. And so there's there's monuments of all sorts around the Capitol building. That's, these were just a few. Still can't get over that they spilled Pittsburgh wrong. A nice mural right there. It says Farmer's Market, established in 1999. Emerson was established in 1999. Yeah, she was. All right, we are in this beautiful park, and it's called Capital State Park. And uh, I'm not even sure what this building is. It looks like it's like some kind of like an old depot or something. 
and uh, but and it's right across the street from the uh, Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. Uh, actually, the library is on one side, and the museum is on the other side. Uh, what I wanted to show you was these two chimney-looking things over here. Turn on the camera real quick just to get a shot of this car. Isn't that pretty? So this is a commemorative sculpture. It's called the Axe of Intolerance. And two charred chimneys rising from the smoldering rubble of burnt out buildings. Uh, basically, this is all uh, something that happened during the uh, brutal Springfield race riots of 1908. Um, almost burnt the city to the ground. Uh, historical markers placed along the mob's pathway of destruction throughout downtown Springfield provide a fuller telling of the tragic race riot story. Um, yeah, so you can see uh, the, the buildings are burning. There's a locomotive train there and people are running and it's a terrible depiction here. Uh, that, uh, or just a terrible, not a depiction of it, but a terrible part of history here. And, uh, but here's the best part of this. This happened in 1908, but they decided to throw Barack Obama in here as a drummer. Uh, on this sculpture, basically stating how far we have come uh, uh, in the in the race, uh, in differences and uh, inequalities. Still got a lot of work to do, though. We really do. Uh, but here's like on this side, the police, and they got the press here burnt out buildings and just absolute destruction so yeah so here it is the commemorative sculpture of uh, of the race riots of Springfield 1908 and Becky actually has a very bad cold although she's hiding the cold very well uh, She's, she's actually pretty sick today, but uh, she really wanted to see that Gen X uh, thing at the museum, so exhibit, and uh, which we loved. I thought, we, I thought it was really cool, but uh, on my way back to the car, we're going to pass two more statues here, and let's check out what they are. So that's what I was talking about. That is the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library over there. And this is the Abraham Presidential Museum over here. Absolutely fabulous museum. Uh, if you're at all interested in Lincoln, uh, but it, it's great history. Uh, and it, it's kind of a magical place, I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, it's, it's awesome. So here is Abe Lincoln giving a speech a greater ta a greater task speech and then if you walk around uh, the park itself is built in a circle uh, but if you walk around to the other side over by where we're parked there is a great photo op if you uh, are in this area where you can have a seat with Mr. Abraham Lincoln, President Lincoln. And here he is, President Abraham Lincoln has his coat off, his stovepipe hat sitting on the side, and he's reading letters, and the letters that he also put inside his hat and kept there.
but this is a good photo op for you. You can have a seat and have the president read you a few letters. Okay, so that was our trip to Springfield. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed coming along with us. And uh, did you like everything that we saw today? Yep. Yep. Okay. I know the best thing, of course, was that Gen X thing at the museum. Uh, but we already talked about that. Hold on, Em. So, um, uh, I told everybody how sick you actually are. You're not feeling well at all. So, And he's so mean. I'm like not make... mean. I just, we're here, and it's three and a half hours away from home, and I just wanted to show everybody some things while we were here. I just didn't want to come for the one thing. So, But I fed you, and I'm going to bring you home. In three and a half hours, you can take some cold medicine, and you can lay down. You can even go to sleep for the rest of the night, okay? Gee, thanks. You're welcome. I'm not even going to make you cook dinner. So, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us to Springfield. If you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Keep it safe. Keep it sexy. Uh, if you want to correspond with us via P.O. Box, I will put our P.O. Box address down below. And as well as the link to the Where the Heck Have the Albans Been uh, map, interactive map. Uh, that uh, is so painstakingly taken care of by one of our subscribers, Davey, Davey Sitter. So, until next time, everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Where the Heck are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, everyone! Bye.